Hey everyone, Corey from Corey Reviews back here with a kind of a short, quick out and about. I actually have a job interview here about half an hour, but it's uh, October 20th, Tuesday, and uh, the Back to the Future Blu-ray Steelbook at Target releases today. Um, I actually, a few days ago, um, I went to my local movie trading company, which is a used video store nearby, and they had the Flux Capacitor set already available for sale. But it was going for 80 bucks, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not really looking to pay 80 bucks for that, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and stick with this steel book. So yeah, guys, I am at Target right now. About to go ahead and head on in. Hopefully, they still have some steel books available. I was hearing on uh, Blu-ray.com yesterday that each store was going to get about 20 or 30 of these in. So we'll see if that's actually true. Uh, right now, it's about 10:30 in the morning I should have probably got here at 8 but my interviews across the street and I didn't want to get out here too early but I'm gonna go ahead and head on in and see if I can snag one Alright guys, so I'm out of Target. As you can see, I was able to pick up a copy. Um, they had probably maybe seven, seven or eight copies left. Um, you know, this is 10.30 in the morning. So what people were saying on Blu-ray.com that there are like 20 to 30 copies available per store, I don't really think is accurate. I think that um, if you're looking to pick this set up, make sure to try to pick it up today. I'm sure once people realize that it's out and want to get their hands on a copy, uh, they'll, they'll go pretty fast. So I was actually surprised with how how little copies that they had. I thought there would be a lot more. I mean, obviously there was like a bazillion copies of Jurassic World all throughout the store, uh, but in terms of Back to the Future, they didn't really have that many. Uh, I didn't see the Flux Capacitor set. That may be something more to find like online and uh, like at used video stores, like, like I said, with Movie Trading Company. But like I said, I was able to score the Steelbook. It was $29.99, which is pretty good. You know, it's only $10 per film. At that price point, you can't really beat it with a you know nice Steelbook pack packaging and uh, some new special features. Uh, it's the 30th anniversary. It's a really nice looking set. I, I wasn't gonna get this at first, but I thought, you know what? I kind of want to own a Steelbook version of Back to the Future. And um, I thought for the price, you know, what the heck. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you all what's inside. Uh, but before I do, those are the special features. There are a ton of special features. So I'll just kind of go up and let you read all those. All right guys, so the shrink wrap is taken off and I took off the paper backing as well. That's the top of it. And then on the inside of the paper backing, I've never actually seen this before. It has all the credits and the ratings and everything. Kind of cool. And then the actual still book itself, it is a glossy and pretty heavy still book. I know that there's a few discs in here, but a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. And inside you do get your digital copy code. And the discs right there. So that's three movie discs, plus you get your uh, bonus feature disc right there with, I guess, the new bonus features for the 30th anniversary release. So that's really nice. And then I'll go ahead and try to take a few of these discs out to show you guys what the inside looks like. So it's that classic shot, I believe, for the first film. So that's the inside. Kind of hard to get that just right but hopefully you guys are seeing this properly that's what that looks like and then the complete outside artwork very cool looking I gotta admit guys I love the steel book I'm definitely happy that I went with this release so yeah guys hope you all enjoy this quick out and about unboxing and tell next time Corey from Corey Reviews see y'all later